real quick. The conclusion I've come to about operating systems is that I don't understand them enough. And um, because there are all these different data structures in the operating system. And um, when you have a blockchain stored in the operating system, it's stored. It's a data structure that's not part of the operating system. And you have all these, these memory locations and a pointer won't have anything to do with those lookup tables or anything. What are they called? Um, I don't know what they're called. Records or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Um, and I all I very don't understand virtual versus um, physical memory paging. And so I think I got really deep into memory and that's why I'm so confused. Because um, memory's hard. And so, um, yeah. All right, so... I think that I was right about the Merkle tree and that the problem is when I find out that I'm wrong, I think I'm wrong, but I am wrong because no matter what, the data is all stored together and you don't have to worry about the data being changed once it's physically stored somewhere, um, unless you do, because they have to change all the data. I don't know. I'm, I'm still really confused about computers still. All right. So, um, yeah. I'm really confused. All right, so should you vote for me still? Yes. <laughs> but um, it doesn't mean that I understand computers, but I do understand how to write TurboTax. And I think that like, if you're voting for someone who's 80 years old or 70 years old, they can't, can't really use computers. They can't really, like they think they understand computers when they're making major decisions. Like could someone write a virus that, destroys the entire United States computer network. Yes. Do we have a theory in cybersecurity world that, at least in the spy world, that there's such a thing as mutually assured destruction on the internet, where we will destroy your entire internet if you destroy our entire internet? It's, it's weird how hackers, like it's like once you reach a certain point of hacking, it's like everyone kind of accepts that there's mutually assured destruction. And that's why people don't do certain things. Like, could I destroy your entire computer network pretty easily. Um, hopefully they've changed some of those commands so that you can't do them like you used to be able to like <laughs> two years ago when you could destroy an entire computer like that real easily. So um, yeah, destruction is harder than, um, than spying. It's easier to destroy your computer than to um, take over your computer. It's kind of a hard thing to explain, but um, it's because I don't want to explain it. So are the stakes on the internet serious? Yes. So should we take the candidate we choose seriously from, uh, seriously, should we take the next presidential candidate seriously from an internet perspective? Big time. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I was born at the best time ever to be a computer person because I had AOL Instant Messenger in middle school. And that means that I've been doing social networking forever. And that means I, I, I've been doing internet stuff forever. Like I've been, I, I come from the Windows 3.1 days, which is the perfect, like my, it's the perfect operating system to grow up on. So um, I understand computers. And I also understand that um, if you pick someone who's 70 years old, they are not going to understand computers and all their solutions are going to be like, well, why don't you write him a nice letter and make sure to lick the stamp and then, and then and thank you very much. Like, I, I understand like you need older people to tell you to write thank you, thank you letters and stuff, but, um, you also, uh, need younger people to tell you, I don't need an accountant because I swear to God, I can write TurboTax. I'm telling you, I think TurboTax is, is easier, not really, but I think it's almost as easy as writing my, my memory forensic program. Almost. So, um, when you have someone in charge that has no idea what's going on, it makes things difficult. And if you want a, a, an economy that's streamlined, not mainstreamed, streamlined, that is efficient, that is smart, that goes into the future, you might need to hire someone who's a little bit younger. And is Pete Buttigieg that guy? 
like I said, I think Pete Buttigieg is a major threat from an economics perspective. And people don't fully understand that because you don't understand who's behind Pete Buttigieg. Um, and, uh, if like, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't think people understand how many people are trying to get money from our government and who's, who's trying to get money from the government. Not it. Who's trying to protect their, protect their money. Mostly us. Cause I'm telling you, um, the cornerstone of the United States economy is money laundering. And you might not like that, but you do like your economy existing. And if you choose someone who's going to go after us and you don't even know it, you could destroy your own, you can destroy yourself. And that's the real problem with democracies. No one knows who they're voting for.